Hey everyone, today we're dealing with one of the most credible Nintendo Direct leaks or rumors or speculation, whatever you want to end up calling this. We're dealing with one of the most credible ones to date. Now there have been other credible ones as well, and some of them were obviously spot on. July 20th date, Nintendo Direct Mini, all that stuff. But uh, we have some August Nintendo Direct stuff coming out that seems to be uh, really reasonable. So that's one reason why we're going to talk about it today. But before we get into that, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. You can pick out the Switch version or the PlayStation 4 version. To enter, all you have to do is comment on this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. Also, if we can hit 50,000 subscribers before the month of November, we will do our biggest giveaway to date, where one lucky winner will get an Xbox Series X, a PlayStation 5, or a Nintendo Switch. Now, that giveaway has not started yet, but I'm just kind of throwing it out there that if we can get the 50K, be prepared because the month of November is going to be a crazy, crazy giveaway. All right, that being said, let's get into the rumor. And it's really interesting because we have two different places that, that this rumor is really coming from. One of them is more so just confirming that we are getting a direct of some type, some Nintendo something in August. And that comes from Jeff Grubb. All right. For those who don't know, Jeff Grubb is this guy who was on uh, Spawncast a little while back um, on, on their little uh, podcast on, on the Spawnwave channel. Um, and he's a guy who's got some connections within the industry with some developers. Um, so, yeah, when he says stuff, he tends to be pretty accurate just from his own connections. And he's been doing this thing called Jeff Grubb's Summer game mess uh, and he's been doing this for a little while now and pretty much everything he puts on here ends up being correct some of it's stuff we already know like the august 6th state of play uh and the rewatch galaxy quest on august 5th but uh some of it is stuff we don't know so going down the list you know you got the frontier showcase the xboxing day sometime in august right now just a month um, it's been pretty talkative, but they don't have an announced day on that right now. Uh, DC Fandom on August 27th. Uh, we have Gamescom opening game night on, on August 27th. Sorry, we have August 28th to the 30th is Gamescom Daily Shows. This is stuff we already know about. Then there's the Wild Card Nintendo he throws in there. Wild Card Nintendo. So uh, what he's basically saying is sometime in August, uh, likely between the 11th and the 22nd since... Uh, that that's there's nothing really much going on in there uh or it could be right at the end of the month something or other there's something nintendo coming it could just be another partner showcase uh could be nintendo direct mini full-blown direct i have no idea um but he's just throwing this out there that there is a wild card nintendo something happening in august as he has it all listed before we get to september uh which is when jeff grubb's summer game s 2021 begins uh so yeah kind of crazy can't wait uh this is pretty cool um and jeff grubb is legit as f now this other one this other this other leak this other whatever you want to call it rumor comes from 4chan and i know what you're saying probably 98 percent of these leaks rumors whatever from 4chan are fake and i agree with you that that tends to be the case most of the time but every now and then we get something that is believable. And I'd say about 50% of the actual believable leaks on 4chan end up being correct. Now, remember, the actual believable ones are like a less than 1% thing thrown out there. But this is interesting because 4chan is all anonymous, so anyone can go on there. You can't track who they are. It could be a Nintendo employee. could be whoever. could just be someone making stuff up. It, it, it's very speculative uh, at best, if you want to believe this stuff, but it's also interesting when you walk around and you see who makes videos on this. Like, uh, you know, I, I got to give a shout out to my boy Player Essence. He made a video on this. Um, there's other YouTubers that might. Uh, we, we're all very selective in which 4chan posts we post about. I mean, there are some channels out there that cover literally everything. I think blocked content uh, is one such YouTube channel that literally any leak, speculation, whatever out there, they cover it uh, because then they have all their bases covered. Uh, but we don't cover everything here. We could literally make like eight of these videos a day if we covered everything. But this one's really interesting because nothing in it sounds that far-fetched. Uh, and some of it's stuff we already know about. So uh, this was uh, found by uh, at Dynamo Super on Twitter. Uh, so he's got some screenshots that we'll be using today. Uh, and it says there's going to be a direct on the 17th of August. So he's predicting the date will be the 17th. 
Um, and it says, note, I want to make it clear that I don't have all the details. I don't know whether this is a mini or a regular direct, as I've only seen been made, been made aware of a few games that will appear. So anticipated games like Bayonetta 3, Pikmin, or the rumored Mario collection were never mentioned to me, so I don't know if they'll appear in this direct or not. All right, and remember that we talked uh, earlier about the Mario 35th anniversary, how uh, Nate Drake feels like that's going to be more of a Twitter announcement anyways, so it might not even be part of a direct. But let's get into uh, some of the games here. We have Sports Story by Sidebar Games. We'll get a trailer. Whether or not it gets a release date, you'll have to find out. Um, a new game by Square Enix that will release exclusively for the Switch will be shown. It's called Zatara. No further information on that. Pretty interesting there. Uh, I have no idea what it could be, but Square Enix does do stuff like this sometimes. Um, next up is a seemingly new Nintendo IP co-developed by Nintendo EAD and Frontier Developments is being revealed. The most information I have is it involves amusement parks. No confirmed release date. Would be kind of cool. Maybe see a, a, a kind of a simulation theme park kind of game. We don't have anything like that on Switch that's any good anyways. Uh, we do have one game, but... Uh, yeah, that didn't turn out very well. Uh, next up, Nintendo Switch Online isn't adding any new library of games. And I don't. I, I actually believe this already. Um, this isn't something that I needed a rumor or a leak or anything for. I've been kind of um, rock solid all the way that I thought they were done at SNES. They may, could go add yeah, Game Boy games, but I don't even think they're going to do that. Um, but something that seems like a new reward system that involves missions. Now, they've done missions like this before. Um not so much with Switch games, but missions like beating a game or buying certain games or doing this or doing that gets you like extra coins. Uh, but you have to have worthwhile things to buy with the coins or it doesn't really matter. Um, again, this isn't the whole direct. I was only given this bit of information. Whether you believe it, it's up to you. See you next month. Um, there's one other section to this uh, that I missed, and that is things like Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville is being ported over to Switch and released the same day on eShop. This game we already know about. makes a lot of sense for it to be on Switch. It won't be too shocking there. Super Mario 3D World will be getting a deluxe port release. This kind of stacks on top of an earlier rumor. Uh, new content will include new levels tied to a bonus story, so there'll be slightly new content in the game. Uh, there's supposed to be a new character although I have no information who the character may be. Uh, and that's not surprising that they would add at least one more playable character in with the game since it's such a, a, a nice multiplayer experience. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition will get a trailer. We already know uh, that it, that comes out this month, so that's not too surprising there to see that. Uh, this one is, you know, I think we expect to hear something soon, but uh, this makes it sound like it's a bigger direct. Challenger Pack 7 for Smash Bros. Ultimate will be teased. The most I can give is that it's not a first-party character. That's huge. Like, we're, we're going to get the seventh character uh, in, in Challenger Pack 7 uh, announced here. So that um, sounds great, if this is to be believed. After that, we have the sequel to Breath of the Wild will make appearance as a trailer. Getting me all hyped, thinking, ooh, it's really coming this holiday. However, Zelda is apparently playable, and the most I have for a release date is May 2021, but subject to change. So a 2021 game could get pushed back, um, but Zelda will be playable, supposedly. I think there's been some speculation around this already that maybe you can even switch back and forth between Link and Zelda. Um, you know, kind of like you can in games like, you know, it's like Secret of Mana. You can switch between three different playable characters. So maybe it's something like that. I have no idea. But uh, this is pretty exciting stuff. And, uh, man, can we speculate for days on a playable Zelda? Um, then a Metroid spinoff is being revealed. No Metroid. I'm assuming he means Metroid Prime 4 announcements or updates. So uh, some sort of Metroid spin-off. Maybe it's another 2D Metroid. Maybe it's another, um, you know, Prime Hunter situation, pinball, something Metroid to tide us over, at least until they're ready to talk about the big Metroid Prime 4 and potentially the Metroid Prime trilogy, uh, which has been rumored and speculated for a couple of years at this point to exist. But after things got delayed, it's possible that they're just waiting until they could show Metroid Prime 4 before even talking about that trilogy publicly. That's at least my speculation on that front. Um, so all of this is crazy info, and uh, I don't know what to believe. Um, we're talking about it now just because this seems like something that could happen. Nothing in here is that crazy. Um, the, I mean, maybe the craziest is what that we're going to see Breath of the Wild, but we, it feels like we could see Breath of the Wild. It's been over a year since we last saw it. So seeing Breath of the Wild 2 footage, Zelda being playable, I guess, maybe is the craziest part of this whole thing because Zelda has never really been playable as an individual character, has been playable as a spirit in spirit tracks in terms of controlling the phantom but we haven't really been able to play play as zelda before unless you want to count zelda's adventure for the cdi games uh so yeah i'm just 
I, I'm kind of at a loss for words at this point. I really kind of want this to be true just because um, we get to see Breath of the Wild for crying out loud, let alone the DLC for Smash Bros. Um, but this also makes it sound like it's it's a little bit of a bigger direct. Maybe not the big general direct. I don't know. Feels like if they're showing up Breath of the Wild, it is the big general direct. But um, we'll see what happens. And we got to remember, whatever the next thing coming from Zelda is, according or from Zelda from Nintendo is, according to Nate Drake, is something small before the big show, uh, which made it sound like maybe the big show, the big big directs in September. So maybe there'll be two things from Nintendo this month. I have no idea. This is just what we have being placed at our feet for us to digest. And I guess it's up to us individually to decide if any of this crap is worth a damn and trust me i know there's a lot of you out there that are getting tired of these rumors i get it i understand but damn is it fun to talk about and speculate because you know what we don't have anything legit to talk about and speculate do we not really not from nintendo side of things so this is what we're stuck with when it comes to our news uh right now anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in i am the thunder overgents from the tinder prime sure to answer that giveaway as i said before comment like uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon. Help us on our road to 50 freaking K so we can do an even bigger giveaway this holiday. Otherwise, folks, I will catch all of you guys in the next video, which is actually a live stream probably happening shortly after this video goes live. Catch you guys later. Bye.